the first people to have laid eyes on this wreck in over a hundred years. Well, it's no Titanic, but I gotta agree with you. It's amazing. I hate to break in here, guys, but it's nearly time to wrap this up. Okay, not much on there. How is it going, Randy? Unbelievable. Never thought I'd see a stash like this in my life. Hey. You sure we can't keep any of it? It only hurts the first time. You'll get used to it. Yeah. Holy! The storm front is moving in a lot faster than predicted. How much longer do you think you'll need? Last load from the ship's vault is on its way up to you now. We're just taking one last look around. Okay. Light repelled the sea life around it. Uh, well, sounds like one for Ripley's, not the Smithsonian. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna pick it up tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I want to check it out. Cybervirus expands his mind, controlling a bioengineered weapon of unprecedented power. William Boom searches for the truth. Too. Hagel is here. So, Mark, there's been no other woman in Sandoval's life since his wife died. None that I know of, Beckett. What about you and Ron? girl talk and more time focusing on your technique. Have you reconsidered my offer to help you become a companion agent? No. I can't understand that. Well, I'm not asking you to. Are you afraid you're not up to it? Hey, as I recall, you were the one just ended up flat on your back. 
Tell me why an ambitious, capable woman would decline the opportunity to advance her career. Maybe for the same reason my independence threatens you so. What's your poison? What's my poison? Beer, whiskey, a fruit or drink with an umbrella. You're a liar! Just a no, minute. Let, let me let me listen. Hey, oh, what the hell are you? Out of control. Hello. What's she having? A bad day. And what do you suggest for that? You look like you could use this. Miserable. Not to me. <laughs> Forensic says it's uh, mostly what? Mostly. Yeah. Uh, it's filled with fragments of human genetic material. You know, I once had a slice and dicer who thought his neighbors were a major food group. But this is definitely from outer space. I'll have these things taken to Washington and be examined by the Talons. If anything else unusual comes up, Call me. Oh, yes. I'm not able to decipher this Talon text. What it says is not your concern. I have a suspect encased in an alien cocoon. That is my concern. This writing dates back to the beginning of our recorded time. It says... The cylinder is a prison. It holds an ancient Talon criminal by the name of Hagel who was cast into the stellar sea millions of years ago. And just happened to land on our planet. Unfortunately, yes. Does he pose a danger to the Talons? An extreme danger, which is why he must be hunted down and eliminated. How will we find him? By ascertaining the identity of the human in the cocoon, for it is his identity that Hagel has assumed. Are you saying that Hagel can assume the appearance of anyone he wants? Like your chameleon. Except, in Hagel's case, he assumes not only the physical characteristics of the victim, but all of his knowledge as well. How can a Talon commit murder? Hagel is no more Talon than your Neanderthal man was human. Use the police and whatever force is required to complete your mission. Your Skrills will be the only weapon effective against Hagel. Then why use the police? I mean, if our Skrills are the only thing that can bring him down, the police will be useless. Not if they lead you to him. And this Lieutenant Beckett to help you. You will require her additional Skrill to stop Hagel. Beckett? I thought she returned to Ireland with the English Companion. No. She stayed behind to investigate a security breach. You who are the source of all my power? Illuminate my heart so that it too can do your work. <sighs> Grant me weak eyes for things that are of no account, and strong eyes for all thy truth. <clears throat> Come in. I'm sorry. The desk clerk said that you would left word for me to come up. Come in. Zor said that you stayed behind to investigate a security breach. And some unfinished business between you and me. There's no unfinished business. Make yourself comfortable. I really don't have time to play games, Beckett. If there's a security breach... It's not a game, Sandoval. They're called runes. A Celtic form of tarot. And you're using these to find the 
Security breach? No. I'm using these to understand your negative response to my physical overtures. As I said in Ireland, my duty is to the Companions. Nothing's gonna take away from that focus. But a CVI doesn't take away our need for physical release. As a matter of fact, it increases our physical capabilities. Angus, sign of fertility and new beginnings. Indicates a need to complete what has already begun. Nothing has begun, Lieutenant Beckett. Vegas. Indicates you must rely on radical trust. Even if you must leap empty handed into the void. I trust only what I know. And as far as leaping into the void, I think Boone would be more suitable to your taste. <sighs> what is it? You and I are destined to come together. Whether you like it or not. Zor has ordered us to eliminate a Talon criminal who has killed at least four humans. Already myself. Agent Sandoval. We'll discuss your security breach in the morning. Don wanted to tell us more, but Zor kept cutting him off. They're definitely threatened. I can see why. What kind of being could do something like this? This is way beyond anything I've ever seen before. Even from the Talons. Can you isolate the cause of death? I mean, beside the obvious? Oh, you mean asphyxiation? Yeah. Not yet. No! Oh! What is it? He's alive. I don't know what's come over me. When he touched my hand, my whole body just... Where's your apartment? Right here. on Hagil is appropriately directed, but you can no longer ignore the security breach under your nose. You used the specter of a security breach as bait to lure me to your hotel room last night. That won't work again. What happens between you and me is beyond our control. What you do about Lily Marquette is not. She's working for the Liberation as a spy. That's a very dangerous accusation, Lieutenant. And not one I take lightly. And what, if anything, do you have to back it up? My instincts. Your instincts. Do you expect me to believe? Didn't you learn anything at Strand Hill? Need I remind you that you were forced to concede the power of my intuition? Talk to me when you have proof. Qualifies as unusual. It's like she was lying in the eye of a hurricane. Bomb Squad says that 
Whatever hit this place had the explosive force of two keys of plastique. Then how do they explain this? Well, that's where you come in. Well, there's no apparent sign of physical trauma. And her face is so... contented. You think it's the same guy from the warehouse? Let's get her body to Dr. Park right away. I removed as much of the cocoon as possible. But unless we're able to get a match on the DNA sample, we're never going to be able to identify him. It's hard to believe there's someone still alive underneath that shell. Yeah. This is the man we're looking for. You've seen what he can do. If you find him, report it immediately. Take all measures necessary to restrain him. Your objective. Objective. Guys, you should identify this suspect and monitor his movements until either Agent Sandoval or I arrive at the scene. Sir, what if he makes a run for it before you get there? Do not let the suspect slip your grasp. Use whatever force is necessary to prevent escape. All right. That's it. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Don't contradict me again. Ever. You know these officers can't possibly stop Hagel. If they confront him, they will be killed. I don't care. They can slow Hagel up and give us valuable time to get to the scene and finish him off. It's senseless. They'll be slaughtered. Zor's directive is quite clear, Boone. Destroy Hagel. No matter what the cost. Why do I get the feeling we're the cheese in this mouse hunt? Because we are. You couldn't have sugarcoated that down a bit, could you? Tell me what you know about Captain Marquette. He's, he's one of the most capable security officers I've ever worked with. What about her commitment to the Companions? Well, isn't that obvious? She was one of the first shuttle pilots. I'm familiar with her service record. Do you have any personal knowledge of her beliefs? No. Why? No reason. Let's go. All right, all right. Lieutenant. We never had this conversation. Check it out. If he gets in that building, we'll never find him. All units. The subject, Randy McDonald, is at our location. Request immediate backup. Freeze! Police! Put your hands on the wall where I could see them! Now! Turn around, facing the wall! <laughs> Okay. 
I kept firing at him, and he, he kept coming and coming, and I, I just... Where'd he go? In that door. All right, you guys seal off the front. We'll go in the back. know what's driving Hegel to Han. It's the only way that we're going to be able to stop him. Ten million years ago, Hegel's species conquered the Talon home planet through a war of genetic assimilation. Using their chameleon powers, they infiltrated the Talon culture and began infecting our race with a genetic virus that would bind our two species for all eternity. How did you defeat them? We didn't. The Talon race that you see today is a result of that genetic assimilation. And now he's here to assimilate the human race. Is it finally clear to you why Hegel must be destroyed? Every species deserves the right to evolve according to the natural laws of the universe, not according to the will of another race. Will the Talons honor this principle in their dealings with humanity? Of course. I'll report back when I know something more. Boon is not so easily deceived, Soor. He has an uncanny ability to sense when we are lying to him. Boon is an implant. And an implant would never question the truthfulness of a Talon's words. Then why lie to him? Are you suggesting that I should have told Boone the truth? That it was our race that destroyed Hegel's? After they had saved us from extinction? On what basis did you make the determination that Jonathan Dorr should not be moved? As a Marine, I've been trained in emergency medical procedures. The wound was hemorrhaging... You logged onto this database through your access code? Yes. Why? You don't ask the questions, Agent. I do. Who authorized Anne Portnoy? So, this is Captain Chandler. Do you happen to know if Captain Marquette knew him before he stole the shuttle? Yes, she did. Back in the military. And is it true that he's still a fugitive? Yes, he is. What's Captain Marquette's security rating? Level five. And yours? Level four. In the United Kingdom, only companion agents are granted level five access. Commander Boone upgraded Captain Marquette's clearance. Without the approval of a companion? Dawn approved it. Hmm. And you don't remember anything after this tendril grabbed your face. Nothing. That's how I woke up here. He checks out fine. There's no residue in his system to indicate that anything out of the ordinary is happened. Don talked about a genetic virus. Oh, there's none that I can detect. I thank you for the use of your hat and coat. I don't know where you think you're going with this investigation, Lieutenant. But I trust Captain Marquette with my life. I'm not interested in your opinion, Agent. Only in your ability to follow orders. Understood? Yes. Good. How long will it take me to get to Captain Marquette's office from here? About ten minutes. So here's what I want you to do. Ten minutes after I leave here, I want you to call Captain Marquette. Okay, take him away. I don't know what to make of this. What? There's nothing to indicate what killed her. The only anomaly is an overload of endorphins in her system. Endorphins? You mean the chemical the body uses to overcome pain? Endorphin releases are common in athletes, especially long-distance runners. They are also released at the height of sexual activity. Can someone die from a massive release of endorphins? Not that I know of. Captain, let me be the first to congratulate you. What do you mean? Lieutenant Beckett's been in my office all morning going over your service record. 
So why the congratulations? Well, she didn't want to tell me, but uh, she finally broke down and said she's decided to support your request. My request? To become a companion agent. She's on her way over to tell you right now. H how long ago did she leave? Just walked out the door. Thank you. Sandoval. Sir, I found something in the alley where we lost a suspect. What is it? I don't know, sir. I've never seen anything like it before. I think you should come down here immediately. I'll be right there. lied to Lassiter. She said that I requested an appointment as companion agent. But you've already been thoroughly investigated and cleared. She couldn't fathom why I wouldn't want to become a companion agent. It must have raised her suspicions. Well, if Beckett suspects you, it won't be long before she goes after Boone. Exactly. Then we have no choice but to eliminate Beckett. Contact Boone. Mr. Doors? I think you'd better see this. I let her right here. No, no, you did the right thing. We can't risk your capture. Yeah. You may want to get over here. Why? Is there a problem with it? found anything yet. She will. Then you have no choice. Where is it? Inside this dumpster. What made you stay behind, officer? Those men you died were friends, sir. Could have been me. All right, give me a hand here. <laughs> You asked for proof about Marquette. I've got it. Meet me at St. Michael's. I'll be right there. You're a complicated host, Mr. Sandoval. I wonder what your tail on friends would say if they knew the secrets you keep buried inside. Hey. Look at that Jaybird. Now what? Be a member of the Polar Bear Club. Hey, Adam, lose your fig leaf? It's Jimmy Reed. 
Just, just, just go back there for a second, see if you can. I think I told you everything. I... I'm sorry, sir. I... The last thing I remember, the perp had me around the throat. But who could have called Agent Sandoval? Maybe the same guy who stole my uniform. I followed Marquette here and found this. Enough proof for you. Are you not curious as to why a high-tech DNA scanner is here? It's got to be a liberation enclave. Must be. That's good work, Lieutenant. <laughs> good work. I've just uncovered what could be the nerve center for the liberation movement, and you say good work? I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> yeah, I've been distracted. I'll contact the or immediately. I was wrong about you. I was wrong about a lot of things. What's going on here, Sandoval? I'd have preferred the intimacy of your hotel room, but then again, who am I to question fate? Oh. Siobhan. If it wasn't for my CVI, I never would have been able to mask my real feelings for you. Oh. You wouldn't. Oh. I'm not made of stone. <laughs> What's wrong? You were the one who said I should jump blindly into the void. Well, yes, but there's a... T From now on, a part of me... will always be with you. As I distract him, get her underground. Adele!
have to do this, Hagel. The Talons are my enemy. I'm fighting against them like you. All right, let's get her down to the infirmary. Quick. Hagel! Together, we stand a chance of defeating the Talons. Alone, Hagel, we're both doomed to failure. So much. Shh, don't go and No sign of him, Captain. What do you mean, no sign of him? I saw him. He was hit. Then he must have been blowing the kingdom come because he isn't here. destruction of humanity. So be it. The only other option is the extinction of the Talon race. Agel's actions have demonstrated that extinction may be preferable to becoming that which we despise. Synod will never accept the end of the Talon race as an option. Our mission on Earth will follow its course until the end. Whatever the consequences to the Talon race. And to humanity. Boone's touch and go. All we can do now is wait. What about Sandoval? Well, there's no adverse effect from Hagel's possession of him, just like the others. He bought the story about Hagel killing Beckett. She's not out of the woods yet, but her vital signs are strong. Oh my god, I should have known. What is it? Her girl's plan. She's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> 